job interview. Okay, right. So it's Melissa, isn't it? Yes, that's right. You're applying for position in our sales department. Have you got your form there? Yes, here you go. And here is my CV. I can see you have some experience in sales, administration, and catering. That's right. Okay, let's start with catering. You worked for Pleasant House Pub for one year. What qualifications do you have? Do you have any kind of food safety or hygiene certificate? I attended a catering training, and I've got a certificate in food safety for catering. Here it is. Wonderful. Great. Now, administration. What computer skills do you have? Well, I have experience working with Word and PowerPoint. I'm very comfortable using computers and am confident in my ability to learn any new programs quickly. That's very good. Do you have a driver's license? Yes, I do. Excellent. And what languages do you speak? I speak Spanish, intermediate level. Okay. And now you're working in sales for Drift. How long have you been working for them? I've been working there for two years. Why did you decide to leave? Well, I realized that this company wasn't giving me the growth opportunities I need at this stage of my career. I see. What would you say are your strengths and weaknesses? Er, I have good communication skills and I'm reliable and organized. My weakness is that I'm not a very spontaneous person. I prefer to work prepared and according to a well-defined plan. Okay, great. If we hire you, when can you start? I can start in two weeks after I give notice at my current job. Okay, we'll contact you next week. Thank you for your time. How did your job interview go? Hey, Marcus, how did your job interview go? The interview went well, in my opinion. I know that my skills are hard to find in the industry I'm in, and the interview took two hours. Really? Yeah, he showed me around the office, and I even got to meet the CEO. The interview also went to a cup of coffee outside the office. The interview itself wasn't like the usual ones. We were discussing work, tasks, plans, and stuff about the company. I was giving him ideas, and he was sharing as well. However, I got the strange feeling that I will not be hired for some reason. If he showed you around the office and introduced you to the CEO, he most surely liked you. So you have nothing to worry about. I hope you're right. I'm very confident in my abilities, but I don't have enough experience, though. Maybe they're looking for young and eager to learn individuals. Yeah, the job posting said they offered training. I think that you can never tell. We'll see soon if I got the job. Don't worry about it. I'm sure they'll hire you. I sure hope so. I'm tired of not having any money. How do you like it here? Hi there. Hi. I haven't seen you around here before. You're new in this company, aren't you? Yes, I just started two weeks ago. What's your position in the company, if I may ask? I'm the head of design. I manage artists and graphic designers. What about you? I'm a content producer. I'm James. Stacy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So how do you like it here so far? I really enjoy working here. That's great to hear. I feel like everyone gets along well and helps each other out whenever it's needed. I have never before had the chance to work with such a nice group of people. It's great. And I like having a flexible schedule. So it wasn't difficult for you to adjust working here? No, not at all. What did you do before you started here? 
I was working in a design office as a graphic and web designer. What made you decide to change jobs? I had to commute two hours every day, so I wanted something closer to home. That figures. So, how long does it take to get to work now? It's only 10 minutes by subway. Oh, that's much better. I don't like the office. How do you like your new job, Dylan? I don't enjoy it. Well, what exactly don't you like about it? The thing I don't like is the office. Why? What's wrong with the office? 20 of us work in one room, so it's very noisy and there's no privacy. Really? Don't you have a private cubicle? No, we don't even have our own desks. We sit right next to each other. You've got to be kidding. So you have no personal space at all? No, it's really crowded. I only have a small place for my computer and telephone. I'd love to quit, but I really need the money. Have you thought about looking for another job with more decent conditions? I have. I can't imagine working there much longer. I need to start getting more serious about looking for another job. What about working at a bank? That's a good idea. I'll look around and see if any banks are hiring. And I'll keep brainstorming ideas for new jobs for you. We've got to get you out of that unhappy place. Yes, we do. I need a change for sure. Working overtime. Hey, Paul, I haven't seen you at the gym lately. Are you still working out? Well, I've been pretty busy at work. We're behind schedule, so I'm putting in 12-hour days and more in the office. And just grabbing a few hours of sleep here and there when I can. You need to set some boundaries, dude. They're ripping you off. How did you come to that conclusion? Do the math. If they're paying you 40 hours a week and you're working 72, that's almost a 50% cut in pay. Uh, Ryan, I get paid overtime. When I work long hours, I get a huge paycheck. You do? You seem thrilled by the idea of working overtime then. Yeah, I completely enjoy this. It gives me the opportunity to earn more. But that comes with a price though. Working too many hours can lead to burnout, fatigue, and stress. Not if it's for a short period of time. I'd like to take some time off. Excuse me, Mrs. West? Yes, Kevin. Do you have a moment? Sure, come on in. Sit down. What is it? I hope you don't mind my asking. But would it be at all possible for me to take a couple of days off on Thursday and Friday? Both Ken and Sally will be in the office those days, and they can cover for me during my absence. But what happened? Is everything okay? Well, I need to carry out some house renovations. I see. Will you be able to get all your work done? It's going to be a busy month. Yes, sure. I'll get everything finished on time. You can count on it. Okay, Kevin, no problem. Just remember to fill out the leave request form. Thanks, Mrs. West. I appreciate it. How's the project coming along? How's the project coming along, Joey? I'm a little worried we won't be able to meet the deadline, Andrew. How's that? What's wrong? We had some technical issues. This has delayed our progress. I didn't expect that to happen. That's a real problem. The deadline is Friday. I don't think we can get it done by then. Can I have an extension? It seems I have no choice. I'll extend the deadline until next week. Perfect. The project will be finished by Monday morning. 
Okay, I'm counting on you, Joey. I won't let you down, Andrew. I hope not. You're skating on thin ice this time. The best candidate. Are you going to Matthew's leaving party? Yes, I am. Anyway, I'm glad he will be transferred to the Chicago office. He's extremely difficult to work with. He doesn't listen to anyone. You're right, and he's so bad tempered. But he's really competent. The Chicago office isn't doing well and could improve things there, just as he did here. Yes, he probably will. How long is he going to stay there? He's going to be there for at least a year. But he surely won't come back to the same job. You're right, he probably won't. I dare say they'll promote him if he's successful in Chicago. Are you applying for his job? I might. Do you know who else is going for it? Is Sylvia going too? No, I don't think so. She knows she doesn't stand a chance of getting it. She doesn't have enough experience. But John may well apply, and if he does, they might give it to him. He's not a good fit either. He is struggling to keep up with work. That's because he is working two jobs in order to pay his bills. I think you would be the best candidate for that position. Thanks for the support, Amber. Night shift job. Hi, Mason. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thanks. How about you? I'm fine, thanks. I've got a job right now, and I'm very excited about it. Congratulations. Thanks. What job did you get? I got a job in an art gallery. I'm going to create art, hold exhibitions, attend art bazaars and markets. That sounds like a very beautiful job. Yeah, how about you? Where do you work? I work in an airport as an air traffic controller. I work third shift. I get off work at six in the morning. Oh, can you sleep during the day? I don't really have much trouble sleeping during the day, and honestly, I kind of enjoy it, but it kills my social life. I only get to see my friends during my days off. That's too bad. How many days off do you have? I have two days off, usually Sundays and Mondays, and I work around 36 hours a week. And do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I love guiding pilots in their planes as they travel through the skies. It sounds like a fascinating job. Yeah, it is. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.